As you may have seen in the last few episodes of our vlog, Hannah and I have two new members of our family. We've adopted two baby boy rats, and we've named them Ratchafy Dutfart and Squirt. And we love them. Can you guess which one I named and which one Shane named? Mine is the adorable Squirt, because he was tiny, and Shane's... Ratchafy Dutfart. We call him Ducky, so it's it's Squirt and Ducky, don't worry. I maintain that Ratchafy Dutfart is the highest level of humor. Ratchafy, which is a hilarious play on the word atrophy. And rat. And rat. <laughs> <laughs> and then Dutfart. You know, when someone hears that name, they think, oh my gosh, that's Ratchafy, that's so witty. And then I follow it with Dutfart. And they're like, oh, so he's also like a fun-loving, childish humor kind of guy. It has everything. The name has everything. Hmm, funny. No one that we've told that name to has thought that it's funny. <laughs> no, they're all very freaked out. They're yeah. Like, what? No one likes it. I'm embarrassed to tell my friends that name. So I don't. I say it's Ducky. <laughs> that makes you seem like someone that I would not be dating. <laughs> Like, if I heard that a guy had named his pet rat Ratchafy Duckfart, I would write him off. That's not my sense of humor. We're not compatible. And yet, how we got to have the rats was a little bit complicated. There are two pet stores in the state of Minnesota that carry rats. There are some rescues. None of them have rats currently. Um, I checked Craigslist, and those all seemed a little... You know, iffy. A little iffy. Like, yeah. you know, if someone's giving away their rat, they're like, it keeps biting me and I don't know what to do. And like, I don't feel qualified to take that rat on. Hannah did like four months of research to find the perfect rats for the, our family. The number of times that I refreshed the pets page on Craigslist <laughs> is embarrassing. If they're tracking that, they think <laughs> there's like someone that's a little. Well, I'm, on a, I'm on a list uh -huh. somewhere. So we found a pet store that carried rats, and it was an hour north of Minneapolis. Was it ever a question about whether we really needed rats? Some of us asked the question. Okay. We drove to this pet store just to see what they had. They had rats, baby rats, so cute, but they were like two weeks old, and they were like, they'll be ready probably in a couple of weeks, and I was like, okay, well. Four months of research ended in one a weekend. A frenzied weekend. Uh, one weekend where it was decided <laughs> that the rats needed to be purchased right away. I did not wait for the adorable baby rats to mature and become <laughs> purchasable. From that pet store, I made us go to another pet store. Two and a half, no, no, direction. probably two hours away. Two hours. Two hours back the way we came. So we're at like four hours. <laughs> this is a Saturday. Nope, this was Friday. This is Friday. This is Friday. We saw the cutest two baby boy rats at this pet store. And we held them. One of them was Dumbo-eared, that's Ducky. Um, and they were adorable. And she <laughs> noted that Hannah wanted at least one Dumbo-eared rat because that's what she is. So she wanted one that was like her. So we brought them home, um, took them out that night for the first time on the couch. And, and they were, one of them didn't have balls. Theodore, who was our oh. other rat, wasn't a boy. So we let her go out. She's probably Theodore. pregnant. Theodore. I hope that she, she she has a home, Theodora. So the next day, we had to drive two hours back to the pet store from our apartment to return Theodore. And now we were left with one rat, and one rat cannot live alone by itself. Just to clarify, you can't have a boy and a girl rat in the same cage because they will do as rats do, <laughs> and suddenly you will have many more rats. Um, I thought about it. So I debated. thought that this was the perfect time for me to start breeding rats, but it wasn't responsible. It's sadly, not a joke. That was a conversation. Yeah, that had and they might have been siblings. I didn't want to go down that road. I mean, I assume they were. Do they? Do sibling rats like... Yeah, of course they would. They'd do it? Yeah, of course they would. They don't know. They don't care. If there's only one other rat in your world, are you really gonna care if it's your sibling? If it's your brother? <laughs> they don't care. So after we returned Theodora, we didn't have a friend for Ducky. We call the pet store, they're getting a shipment on Tuesday. It's Saturday. On Tuesday, we call the pet store and we're like, 
did you get any boys? And like, by, by now they know us, so they're like, hey Shane, they're how's like, oh, Ducky? They're like, you're those people that have been in our pet store 14 times in the last two days. Oh. So there were like five tiny little baby boys in the cage when we went, but Squirt was the one that was running around exploring. All the rest of them were huddled in a corner, Being terrified. Babies. He's also curly haired, he's a Rex rat. So I was immediately Rex. like, oh my god. Yeah, Rex is R the hair type. Yeah, hair type. There were cuter rats in that bin, but we picked him because of his personality. I they just were, like to they say. were not in a bin. They were in a tank. <laughs> in a tank. They were in a tank full of water. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we doused her and then we came home. For the last time, we have not been back to the pet store. So now we have two rats. And we love they them. They love each other, which is the best part. One special little thing about them is that when we brought them home, they both had respiratory infections. So we had to take them to a vet. I had to give them steam room treatments in our bathroom by putting the cage in there, closing the door and running really hot water so that the room steamed up, and giving them medicine two times a day uh, in the form of liquid antibiotics that I would mix into ranch dressing and force them to look off of my fingers because it was the only method that would work. Until they didn't like the ranch, which happened very quickly. We did ranch, we did mayonnaise, we did yum yum sauce, we did... Also the uh, vodka sauce. Vodka sauce they really like. Peanut butter, yeah. all kinds of things. They survived. Hannah did a wonderful job uh, nursing them back to health. Apparently all rats get sick. From pet stores From and stuff, pet yeah. stores, or it's common. And now they're thriving. They're huge, and they yeah. eat all the time. Their favorite foods are carrots, lettuce, yeah. grapes. Yeah, Ducky really likes oats, and Squirt loves Cheerios. They don't know any tricks yet. No, but they only poop in the right area of their cage. So they have on that. The bottom, on the bottom pan, they do not poop on any other level. Pretty impressive. They love being held by Hannah. They don't love being anywhere near me. <laughs> My wheelchair makes a clicking noise. <laughs> Every time I hear that, they freak out. I'm trying to develop a bond with them. They don't, They aren't scared of you. Other people, they're very scared of, and they know our voices, and they're not scared of us. But I'm also like a little bit freaked out by yeah. holding them. I mean, it's fine, but I don't love it. And I know that the only way they're gonna be comfortable with me is to contact like yeah. that. Yeah, you just need to get to know them better. I do. How can we do that though? You need to like, lay on the bed and let them explore you. Lay on the bed? Yeah, that's why? what I did. Yeah. Me laying like a corpse on the bed is why they love me. From now on, you'll be seeing Ratchet Food That Far and Spur in some of our future videos. We hope that you love them just as much as we do. Good job. Yeah, you guys are so good.